Hello everyone, it's Mr. Quicko here. I hope everyone is doing well. Today we are on Train Simulator on the new Chatham Mainline, doing a service from Faversham to Dover Priory, driving this Class 375-7. There's the other 375 that we just detached from. Yeah, let's set up the train. Today we will be calling at Selling, Canterbury East, Bexbourne, Addisham, Elsham, Snowdown, Shepherdswell, Kersney and Dover Priory. So yeah, nine stops after here. Destination boards. Well, still setting up for that. So yeah, we're not going to Red Hill, we're going to Dover Priory. There we go, destination board all set. Headlights seem alright. Just checking outside, yep. All ready to go. Now just waiting for the departure time to roll around so then we can close the doors. Quickly taking a few screenshots for the thumbnail. Yeah, just now have to wait for departure. And here is the route map. See in the task list. It's seeing the task list where we are stopping at today. But yeah. Door operation platform duties complete. So yeah, let's close the doors and make our way to our first stop of selling. Nice javelin over there, class 395. Maybe at some point we all have to drive one of them on the channel at some point. And here is the passenger cam. Yeah, great passenger cam on this train. There's a 375. Due in at selling at 8.03. So yeah, in three minutes time. Nice and visible bridge. Not sure what's happened to that. Yeah, this route is the new Chatham Main Line, so it has the extra bits from Faversham, which have never been seen before. Yeah, from Faversham to Dover Priory, which we are doing today, and do and Faversham to Ramsgate, the London Blackfriars, which we have streamed before. Yeah, this is a good, great route. It's really long. And yeah, it's just fantastic. Especially for £25, as you get well over 100 miles of tracks to drive. It will take you at least a few hours. There's selling. You can see it. It's around a mile and a half away. On the... I don't know what you call it. The screen on the bottom. Nice fly-by shot as we go over that level crossing. Ooh, a little bit of lag. Yeah, we're not too far away from selling. I think it's time to start slowing down for the first stop on this service. Nice countryside of Kent. Yeah, the Kent countryside. Yeah, this is my first time ever driving this part of the line. As yeah, 
only picked up this route recently, so never been this far on it. So yeah, previously I've only been as far as Faversham, both on Train Sim World 2 and Train Simulator. But here is our first stop of selling. Here we are, this is selling the first stop on our service to Dover. Looks a nice station, quite small, but then what do you expect? I doubt there's many people living down here. Mr. Fixer, local handyman. Yeah, let's get a nice external shop as soon as we can close the doors, which is now. Let's close the doors and get on our way to our next station. Yeah, the next stop is Canterbury East, in quite a few miles by the looks of it. Where's this? That's not sure. Yeah, Canterbury East is our next station stop in just over six miles time, and do that in seven minutes. Down to 40 for this tunnel. Into the darkness we go. Looks a fairly long tunnel, but I can already see the exit. Then we go back up to 19 miles an hour. So yeah, we'll be going quite fast. But yeah, 90 miles an hour is the top speed on today's journey. It looks like that stop was Charter. Never heard of it. There's Ramsgate up there, a bit further north. Yeah, that's the other place you can go from Faversham. Yeah, the start of the route 
London Victoria, probably where this train would have originated from. London Blackfriars as well. But a nice big map. Can't go wrong with it. Down to 75. Start slowing down. There's the 75 mile an hour speed board just ahead. Yeah, just over three miles now to Canterbury East. Wonder if there's a Canterbury West station or something, if there's a Canterbury East. Not sure. Whistle board. And back up to 90. But yeah, not for very long. But you can tell that I don't really know this area very well. Oh, wrong button. Yeah, we're going back down to 70 miles an hour very shortly. I'm not very familiar with this area in real life either as yeah, I don't really go to Kent often at all but I don't really have any need to it's the other side of London for me Not far to the next station stop of Canterbury East in just under a mile's time. Slowing down to 40 miles an hour. As yeah, we approach Canterbury East, our next station stop. Nice bank turn. Looks quite nice. So yeah, we get further into the depths of Kent. Basically heading for the coast. Probably be a few passengers on this train wanting to go to France today. Catch the ferry over there from Dover. Don't blame them. Here we are, this is Canterbury East. There's another 375 there. Looks like it's going to London, Victoria. Got a nice long journey ahead of it. Would be cool if we could go down here and train to Mole 2, but I don't think that would happen. And there's the forecast stop marker. Here we are. Put it into neutral and open the doors. That other 375 goes back to London.
Yeah, it looks like the next stop is Bexbourne. Total Kent Magazine. Sounds interesting. Yeah, quite a few different passenger views. Station for Simpsons Wine Estate. Yeah, change here if you would like a nice glass of red wine. Southeastern will give you a sample complimentary if you are travelling in first class. But I'm not doing it in real life, but it's a special promotion for my train and today only. Should be due out of here at 13 minutes past in 20 seconds. So not long till we can close the doors and make our way to Bexbourne. Our next station stop on this service today. Let's close the doors. And off we go. Your next stop is in two miles time. Yeah, making our way up to line speed, which is 60 miles an hour. Yeah, due into the next stop in two and a half minutes time. Yeah, we are running on time so far on this service, which is good news. And we will be going up to 90 miles an hour in 0.3 miles time. There we go, up to 90 miles an hour now. Don't think we get up to that fast just yet. So yeah, we are only a mile and a half away from our next cooling point on this service. Yeah, I don't think it's a very busy line in real life. As yeah, in the game we've not seen many AI services. Yeah, I don't think many people actually live there in real life. So yeah, Kent's not the most populated area of the country. DVD, driver's vigilance device going off. I have to start thinking about slowing, well, slowing down already for Bexbourne. Getting distracted talking. There we are, this is the next stop. There's the forecast stop marker just down there. And here we are. Looks like a good stop. And unlock the doors.
Yeah, this is Bexbone. Hear the birds chirping. Due out of here any second now. Not stopped here for long. Yeah, it looks like there's only a few houses here. So yeah, not much going on. Let's close the doors. And the next station is Addisham. Yeah, the next stop is Adersham in 2.8 miles and we are due there in just under 3 minutes time at 8.21. Let's increase to notch 4 so we can accelerate much faster. It looks like we are literally running bang on time. So yeah, ETA is 8.21.22 and due there at 8.21.15. There's Adesham on the map. Then we're going to slow down. Yeah, we're already halfway into this service. So yeah, it's gone quite fast already. I'm really loving this camera, interior camera. One of the best in train simulator in my opinion. You've just got to love it. Could spend the whole journey in here, but then that would probably get boring for everyone watching. We're under a mile now to Adersham. Start slowing down. So yeah, we are doing 80 miles an hour currently. And yeah, you can see the next stop after Adersham of Aylsham. Not far after that. Looks like these stops are close together. There you go, you can start to see the next stop in the distance. I believe one of the station stops on today's journey you can change for the East Kent Railway so you'll have to stay tuned to see that stop looking forward to it looks like we're stopping at the end of the platform well, that sounds a bit wonky, but I think they did that on purpose. So it must be like that in real life. And there's a guy standing in inside this grass. Maybe he's been grown from a seed or something. Who knows? Let's unlock the doors. And that guy's got on board our train. There we go. Looks like we might be running 20 seconds behind. So, we're roughly on time. 
We're on time for Kent, probably. So, yeah. Just waiting now for our departure. Shouldn't be too long. Let's close the doors. And let's get a nice external sh external departure shot as we leave the station. There we go. Only 0 0.8 miles to Elsham. So yeah, these two stations are very close together. So we're already on the approach. Looks like I might have made up a few seconds. But every second counts. So yeah, we don't really want to be running late. And it looks like Snowdown is not far after either. Here we are, this is Elsham. Let's open the window. Looks like we're going to the end of the platform to the s -car stop marker. Here we are. This is Elsham. Well, let's close the window. Yeah, general feeling is there's yeah not much going up, going on around these stations on this part of the route. Yeah, it just seems like a few houses. That's probably why there's not many trains. So there's not much demand. Close the doors. Doors are locked, so yeah, let's get going. Next station is Snowdown in under a mile. So yeah, not far. Due there in under a minute, so yeah, might be running slightly late. Not too far from Snowdown. Already having to think about slowing down. Well, it only feels like we literally just left the previous stop, which I can't remember the name of the station now. Let's yeah, start slowing down. You can already see it, the next stop in the distance. Here we are. Looks like a concrete station. Doesn't look like there's much going on.
Here we are. Good stop. And unlock the doors. It looks like this stops next to a road. No civilization to be seen. Not well, it's not obvious at least from what I can see here right now. I'm sure probably a few of you watching do live in the area. Let's get going. The next stop is Shepherd's Well in two miles time and scheduled to be there in three minutes. So that yeah, let's get going. It was nice to see another 375 arriving as we left. Always good to see a few AI trains running. Yeah, the next stop is Shepherd's Well. Just under a mile and a half away from it. The yeah, line speed is 90 miles an hour. Oh yeah, we're not going to get up to that speed though. Bit of a shame, but what do you expect from a stopping commuter service? Driver's vigilance device going off. But yeah, I believe the next stop of Shepherd's Row might be where you change for the East Kent Railway. Hopefully it is called the East Kent East Kent Railway, and I've not got it wrong. Yeah, I believe that is where it is just down here. But I'll soon find out because we are, we are approaching. So yeah, already time to slow down. You can see it in the distance. Nice green signal at the end of the platform. There's the forecast. Stop mark away. We want to stop. Yeah, a light here for the East Kent Railway. Kent Railway Station of Shepherd's Well. Highly recommend you alight here so you can have some fun on the railway. Not quite literally on the railway, but the old trains, the old diesels and steam. Lock the doors, you'll probably see them all run away off to the East Kent Railway. Let's quickly have a look. Guessing you exit here, down here maybe, yeah this looks like it, platform, yeah never been to the East Kent Railway before, and no idea what trains they do have, goes into a tunnel, couldn't go any further, yeah it looks fairly good, maybe one day I'll have to go there in real life. Well, it's time to depart before we get too distracted. The next stop is Kisney in three and a quarter miles. So yeah, let's get going.
back into the darkness of this tunnel. Looks, looks quite long. Yeah, I think we are in the darkness for at least another mile according to that. As yeah, the 65 mile an hour limit is in just under a mile where we come out of the tunnel. Still in the darkness, but yeah, we can see the light at the end of the tunnel, which is good to see. Shame the speed limit goes down to 65. But yeah, not far from the next stop, as yeah, we are two miles away. Yeah, very scenic around here. Hopefully that was a good screenshot. Just having to watch our speed. So yeah, we are doing 65 and that is the speed limit. Yeah, very scenic around here, yeah, just loads of trees, just looks a bit more untouched. There's not many people living here either. That's a nice view, train passing over the bridge. But I think it's time to start slowing down for Kearsney. Hopefully I did say that correctly. Yeah, Kearsney. Looks like it's just around the corner. Yeah, this is the penultimate stop on today's journey from Faversham to Dover Priory. Yellow signal at the end of the platform. Hopefully we don't get delayed. But if we do, what can we do about it? Yeah, this is Kearsney. A few skips down there. Forecast stop marker. And unlock the doors. Yeah, arrived here two seconds behind schedule, so yeah, but we are on time. And yeah, Dover's just down the track from here. So yeah, we are nearly finished this scenario. Yeah, it has been a good scenario though. Let's have a look. Looks slightly more built up around here, probably as we are not far from Dover, which is a fairly big town so yeah, I don't think it is a city yeah, I believe Dover is a town Dover Priory this is coach number one of four would be cool if it did that in train sim world too where it tells you all the stations and it says yeah this is coach number x of how many is it in your configuration yeah we have got a single yellow out of here Yeah, we are due into Dover in four minutes, so hopefully it all goes smoothly. No delays, hopefully. Nice cab light. Oh, we might have forgot to set up the GSM. I'll pretend you didn't see that. At least in train simulator, it's not compulsory. But yeah, if you didn't do it in real life, yeah, you might be fired. Check signal aspects. Guessing that's normal then for the yellow. Yeah, let's close the doors. 
and let's get going for our final stop of Dover Priory where this train terminates. Okay, let's get going. There we go, up into notch 4, powering our way down to Dover. But yeah, we're definitely now in the heart of Kent, if we weren't already. AWS. There you go, 1.7 miles to Dover. Looks like we're going into Dover Platform 3. Down to 55 shortly. Just making sure we don't speed as yeah, it is a looks like quite a steep downhill gradient into Dover. Another single yellow. There's the 55 board. Yeah, another single yellow. Guessing we're going to see single yellows all the way. Oh no, it's a double yellow. AWS. So yeah, looks like we're all clear into Dover Platform 3, well, Dover Priory Platform 3, should I say. Yeah, which looks like we have the red at the end of the platform. Yeah, into the tunnels as we approach Dover Priory. AWS, there's the single yellow. And down to 30 miles an hour. Yeah, overall it has been a nice pleasant drive, enjoying the 375 of the interior view, or passenger cam, yeah just overall a nice pleasant train to drive, gives you a bit of a different experience from Train Sim World 2, where you can drive this train as well, and that train you can see down there, the E-Class 395 Javelin. Maybe one day we will be able to go this far in Train Sim World 2, but you never know what beholds us with that game and as they say if it's not on the road map it's not happening speeding a little bit okay, I'm not sure where you can go further than Dover wouldn't have a clue there yeah, this is Dover Pro this train terminates here Please make sure you have all your personal items with you before leaving the train. Thank you for travelling with South Eastern, operated by Mr Quicko. Here we are. This is Dover Priory, let's unlock the doors. And let all the passengers off. Set the tail lights. There we go. And yeah. Yeah, this is Dover. Pretty sure we saw that, unless there's two Simpsons wine estates. Looks a nice pleasant area. Hello driver. Yeah, it's quite a big place over. Probably the biggest station in terms of passengers and size on the journey, well, Faversham might be bigger, possibly, but then again, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, Faversham and Dover are the biggest st stops on today's journey. But yeah, that is going to be it for today's train simulator video on the 
Chatham Main Line from Faversham to Dover Priory. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more. But yeah, I do hope you have enjoyed this train simulator video on the Chatham Main Line, and I'll hopefully see you all next time. Bye everyone.